Hello YouTube, this is Dead Before You See Me. So, I got a question on YouTube. How do I set up my N64 controller adapter, Mayflash, to Windows 8? And to prove this is Windows 8, there you go, go to desktop. Okay, so what you need to do is take your N64 controller, plug it into the first one, and then plug it in your computer. So I'm going to do that now, and you won't see the screen, because, or you won't see the, uh, oh, it didn't pop up. Usually there's a pop-up that says plug into Windows 8 if you're on Parallels, which is for Mac, but it'll, you don't need to worry about that if you're just running a Windows 8 computer. So open run, um, command R is for Parallels. It's one of your, uh, the buttons down here on the keyboard and then R, or find another way, whatever you need to do. So you need to type in joy.cpl, that's J-O-Y dot C-P-L, and hit OK. Okay, so here's the thing about this controller. Adapter. Player 1 is the second gamepad here, so you want to click that just one click and then properties and as you can see the joystick moving around as I moved around so what you want to do is go to settings calibrate the controller so I'll just do this real quick leave the hand handle centered press a button okay move the handle in circles press a button press a button hit the Z axis all the way up and down, that means Z or uh, the C buttons up and down, and then hit A or something, and then it says all the way Z rotation up and down, which is right and left. So what you want to do is hit next, finish, and then it should be calibrated to suit your controller nicely. Um, so, mine's using the modified joystick, just to let you guys know. And so now open up your Project 64, mine's on here. And okay, this is what you want to do first. Go to settings, controller, plug in, put in the end range, because your C buttons won't work if you don't do this. Hit OK, I just hit cancel, just because. Go to controller, set up all your your d-pad, your buttons, C buttons, and joystick. I always keep this at 100%, real in 64 range. So then, you need to go to devices. Remember how I said gamepad 2 was slot 1? Well, there you go. Open this, gamepad 2. Click up. Okay, so next, modifiers. You can create these modifiers, which will make your joysticks very, very sensitive. And I recommend doing this and putting it up all the way. If you have this new joystick that everyone's been using, GameCube style joystick, and you can learn how to use modifiers on my video, which says using the N64 joystick replacement on Project 64. Go check out out. That's one of my other videos. So then, or you could just figure it out yourself. It's not that hard. So then you should be calibrated. So I'm just going to open up a ROM just to prove this works. Even though I only have one hand. Can hit start. Start again. And it works. I'm gonna be go back. Z works. Remember to set up the Z button. But I mean, it works great. But uh you're gonna have to get used to the sensitivity. The reason you keep this sensitivity up really high is especially for Super Smash bros you cannot do hard attacks and like whenever you 
smash the joystick to the right and hit A at the same time. You can't do heart attacks without having a very sensitive joystick setting. Just remember that, which are the modifiers. So thank you YouTube, I hope that helped the people who asked how to set this up. And if you have any qu more questions, post below. Thank you, and see you next time.